self-love and independent orgasm. It's the hallmarks of the Betty Dotson method. And I think one feeds the other. Absolutely, Carlin. Let's, let's break it down. So self-love, I think it's one of the hardest things for us to accomplish as women because we're not looking outward for validation like we've been conditioned. We're going within. Yes. And pleasure and orgasm is really the connection we need for self-knowledge and self-fulfillment. Mm -hmm. So when I'm cycling an orgasm in that energy, I can't help but love myself. Exactly. Exactly. Independent orgasm uh, requires that you know that you deserve an orgasm, that you deserve pleasure. And when you know that you're deserving, self-love happens naturally. We're entitled. Yes. Right. We have the most sophisticated sex organ on the planet, capable of endless pleasure that never ages. Mm -hmm. There is a reason and a purpose. So when I feel entitled, I'm going to take it. So every day I'm going to put my hand on my genitals and I'm going to feel gratitude. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to touch them the way I prefer to be touched. And self-love is not about being selfish. It's really about being self-full. It's being generous with yourself. It's about knowing that you're deserving, that you're on an equal playing field as everyone else. And you deserve pleasure and orgasm. It's your birthright. Every woman can orgasm. Working with all the clients I have in the last two years with all of the physical limitations and emotional limitations, every client got to orgasm. I feel like I can say nothing can block a woman's orgasm. Mm -hmm. To me, that's unbelievable, like fantastical. Mm -hmm. So that assures me, right? The orgasm has a very important place in our role as women. Whether or not we choose to become mothers, we are the nurturers. Yes, yes. And we need orgasm. We need pleasure in order to be able to be generous with ourselves and with others. It's an entitlement for sure. When I can connect to that creative energy, and that's what orgasm is, I feel connected to myself and every living thing in the universe. Mm -hmm. Self-love and independent orgasm is a journey. It's not a destination where suddenly you're going to, you know, be awarded. Um, it's something that we have to work at. And Carolyn, you know from reading Betty's journals that that was true for her. It was a long journey and it wasn't easy and it wasn't linear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was more of a roller coaster. But in the end, she loved herself mm -hmm. because no one else loved her and that was okay. And then I'm amazed at the generosity that she could have made that connection and held on to it herself. Mm -hmm. But Betty launched Body Sex and decided to teach all women how to love themselves. Yes. And loving yourself actually enhances receiving love for others. Uh, you start to see it in, in non-romantic contexts. When, when you love yourself, you can see others looking at you in a loving way. Exactly. It promotes healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. So the first love that all of us should have is ourselves. Mm -hmm. 